back. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. This is your boy, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont here, and I'm bringing you another rant. But before we jump into this one, let's talk about what y'all are doing for us. You're subscribing, you're following, you're commenting. Tremendously appreciative of everything y'all are doing, jumping in and helping us grow this channel. Right now, we are sitting at Look at that. We just added another one. We are sitting now at 2,058 subscribers. Right now, boom, as you see, you're helping us grow this channel. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. Help us get to 20, 2,100 before the day is done. It's only a few hours left in the day, but I know you can help us get there. Share it all. Greatly appreciate it. Let's jump right in. A couple months ago, Cormani McLean was a topic of discussion. Leaving Colorado, weird situations. Or my thing with leaving Colorado, and this guy uh, wore his welcome out with Deion Sanders. I'm usually an anti Dion guy, and people know that. I'm not a fan of Deion Sanders, but I got to tell you this, Cormani McLean is a flipping piece of work. He is a piece of work. After he leaves, he jumps on the internet, he makes videos, he criticizes Dion. What do you think is going to happen when you do that, my friend? What do you think will happen? You will blackball yourself from other teams wanting to speak to you, wanting to recruit you, wanting to give you an opportunity because it's well known that you are tough to deal with, that you don't go to class, that you show up late, that you show up late for workouts, that you miss workouts, whatever, all the things that you don't want to do if you're trying to keep a job or get a job or earn playing time, the things that you should be doing, watching film, all of that stuff, you weren't doing in Colorado, and that's why you weren't playing. So for that, I have a great deal of, of respect for Deion Sanders because he wasn't going to tolerate that garbage. There's plenty of other things that I have a big problem with Dion on, but this one is not one of them because you do not tolerate that type of nonsense from players. I don't care where they're recruited. They're number one in the world or number a thousand in the world, the obviously the country. It doesn't matter where you're ranked. If you're not doing what you're supposed to do, my guy, you have no business on the field. Heck, you may not have any business in my program. But after he leaves, I kind of took a little issue. The fact that Dion was talking about him, I thought that was completely unnecessary. I don't really like that idea. I don't think it's good for a coach to talk about a player once the player's gone. Wish him well. Call it a day. Dion went on a little bit of a thing. I didn't think it was all it was cool. I don't think you should do that. But whatever, he did it. And Cromani McLean has done nothing but confirm what Dion Sanders said. Cromani McLean. Put himself in a, in a pickle to where I don't think anyone really wanted him outside of probably small schools that he didn't want to go to. Although those are probably the best options he should have gone to because those would have been the ones that create the least amount of distraction for him since he's clearly an easily distracted young man. <clears throat> so he goes and he chooses to go as a preferred walk-on to the University of Florida, the school Florida, the school he initially committed to out of high school before flipping to Miami and then finally flipping to Colorado. Now he's out of Florida. And what's Carmine McLean reportedly doing? I can't confirm this. I can only see what I've seen on multiple articles and pods that I've seen. So I thank you to those pods for that information. But being that I've talked about Carmine McLean a whole bunch, I'm jumping on this because I got to give my two cents on this nonsense. He's been late to meetings, late to workouts, late to, uh, to the point where they're punishing the entire team. You know how bad it is that the coach would punish the entire team because of how you behave and you're a walk-on? You're a walk-on and he's punishing the entire team? Late to meetings, late to workouts, late, 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 no shows, this and that and the other, late, late to class. Everything that, he, everything that you don't want him to be doing, he's doing. The University of Florida was probably the worst place he could have gone. Why? It's two hours from home. He's from Lakeland. Two hours from home. I mean, I guess he could have gone to Central Florida or South Florida, which is a little bit closer. But UF was probably as bad of a place for him to go as there is. He needed to go to a small school 
away from everything where there's nothing to do other than work out, go to practice, go to school. I mean, realistically, he probably would be best off in one of those last chance you type of JUCOs at this moment because he needs to be in Scuba, Mississippi or something like that where there's nothing. There's literally nothing to do other than practice and school. Practice, play, school. That's it. School, practice, play. I mean, whatever order you want to put it in. Instead, he's at the University of Florida and he's doing the same dumb shit reportedly that he was doing at Colorado. And now he's doing it as a preferred walk-on. I can only imagine how much money he was getting in NIL deals to go to Florida to begin with. But I tell you right now, it would be I'm curious to see if he's even on the roster come August when they when they go into camp. I'm I'm curious. Because if I'm a, if I'm a teammate of his and this is what he's doing, again, this has all been reported by other podcasts and I've seen articles. The, if this is what he's doing, he's not going to last. He, this he, he his story is reminding me more and more and more of Willie Williams going to University of Miami out of high school. He did a diary for the Miami Herald with a buddy of mine, Manny Navarro, who did a diary for the for the paper to talk about his recruiting visits. And it was cool at the time. It was never that stuff never been done before by a newspaper. And it was an awesome series. But during that series, he got caught up in some shit at University of Florida. Right. He ends up at Miami. He goes to Miami. But Willie Williams never really learned a playbook. Willie Williams in high school was just a freak of an athlete. I covered him for, for, for his entire high school career. First at Monsignor Pace and at Carroll City High School. He was a freakish athlete. Unbelievable athlete. Just you look at him. He was a specimen. All over the field. Everywhere but never really played assignment football. And in high school, you can get away with that. In college, the pros, you're not getting away with that garbage. You got to learn the playbook. You got to learn assignments. You got to learn to be disciplined. And if you can't be on time to practice, on time to workouts, on time to class, you're not reliable. And that's what's going on with Kamani McLean. It's the same type of dynamic. Willie Williams didn't last at Miami. He ended up in multiple schools, JUCOs, XYZ. He ended up, I think he went to prison actually for a minute. But this is what the, the road that Cormania McLean is choosing right now. And it's sad. And I feel, and it's scary because it's, it's unnecessary. All you got to do is grow up and act like an adult. Someone in his camp, in his family needs to say, but Cormani, you don't have any more chances left. If he doesn't make it at the University of Florida, He's going to be at a last chance you real a really be at a last chance you situation. And that will be his last chance. Because his story is not looking good for the future. I want him to I want him to succeed. He's a young kid. He's making stupid decisions and people around him are smiling, giggling, ha ha kiki. And none of these people in his family are saying, "Yo, stop this crap." Or maybe they are and he doesn't care. And if he, and that's the case, then you know what? He's going to dig his own grave. But typically when you behave like this, you've been growing around up around people that have enabled you your entire life and have said, it's okay, yeah, it's okay, yeah, it's okay. No, it's not okay. And you're going to ruin your life at 20 years of age because you can't show up on time to school, show up on time to workouts. It's not a complicated thing. You have a schedule. Follow it. Be on time. Have your head in the damn playbook. Watch film. Do what you're supposed to do. We shall see what happens with Cormani McLean, but I have this bad feeling it's not going to end well. I'm curious to see if he will actually be on this roster come the end of August when they start the season. At the, against When they host the University of Miami on August 31st, I'll be surprised if he's even on the roster. We'll see what happens, man. That's all I got. Be sure to follow, subscribe, and comment. Leave a comment, and you know, leave a comment in our in our, in our comment section. And once again, thank you so much. We greatly appreciate you. Come on now.